Well, good evening, or almost good Sunday morning. I'm up late, had to work late, funky hours tonight. Anyway, the gospel a lot of people will be hearing on Sunday is from Matthew chapter 15, and it includes the very simple verse 21, which begins, Then Jesus left that place. Jesus had been teaching and healing, ministering in his familiar home region where he grew up in the area around the Sea of Galilee. He and his followers all would have been familiar with the people, the terrain, the language, everything. Then Jesus left that place and he went up into the region of Tyre and Sidon, what we would call today Lebanon, just a bit north, really, not all that big a deal today, but culturally quite a crossing. They went up into a region that was associated with, we hear in the next verse, the Canaanites, the uh, ancient pagan enemies of his Israelite people. Tyre and Sidon was the hometown of the infamous Queen Jezebel, who with Israel's King Ahab had lured the people into idolatry and corrupted the land. Uh, it was a place associated with a lot of bad news, and for traditional Jews of that time, it wouldn't have been a place to go and do a lot of mixing and matching. Yet Jesus does some incredible ministry there. He has a very difficult seeming exchange with a woman from that region. But in the end, it's all about his blessing going forward and the news of him spreading into some new territory. Jesus left that place. He calls us to cross out of comfort zones, particularly areas of affinity, people we're familiar with, people who are like us, and to cross over where people may not be that much like us, and to build new relationships based in him, to glorify God in their presence through witness to him. Then Jesus left that place. Where's Jesus calling us to leave for a bit? Where's he calling us to go? Have a great Sunday.